Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's Nerdbird here. Thank you for tuning into yet another video. This is a new segment on the channel designed to bring you tutorials, quick tricks and tips all in 90 seconds. Today's tip is an organizational one. It's in Sony Vegas Pro and it's how to use markers. Let me explain why it's so important to have them, okay? I'm going to throw over to my desktop and then I can show you. Let's start the clock as well. So guys, if I zoom out, you'll see in this project, this is an old project I did of spoken word poetry. I'll link it below. Um, this spoken word poetry needed so many markers because at these points, where it says like, for example, finally, home, cloud, hearts, I had to actually insert actual things. Like there was things to insert at those points. Now you can use these placement markers to insert sound effects um, or sound images, text, notes to yourself while video editing. It could be absolutely anything, but it really does help. And the way to do that is to get to the point in which you want to set the marker, wherever it is, could be on this point here, and press M. Now, once you press M, you're able to type, whether it's, you know, it might just be finally, and you're done. That's the shit. Press enter. If you right click it, you can rename it, you can delete it. Right? Now, we're going to delete it because I want to show you the second type of marker you can use. These are called regional markers. Now, what you do is you go to wherever you wish to have the regional marker, press R and then begin writing what you want it to be called. So finally home. Now this is an excellent thing because what it does is it keeps the region for you and you can drag it across and set the markers as to where you want it. So that finally home starts and finishes in that region because look, finally home. Boom. So we know in that section, that's exactly what it says. Guys, our time is up and that's how you use regional markers for organization in your video editing um, projects. When you hover over, by the way, it also tells you. So wherever you are in the project, you can see. It's actually really, really helpful. I hope that this is going to help you in some sort of way. If you've enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.